Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. How many of you like that crispy edge on a pizza? I'm talking about that cheese that gets all the way on the edge and just gets super crispy. Well today, I'm gonna show you how to do that on a cheeseburger. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're making some cheeseburgers out on the Blackstone Griddle. We're going to start off by making our own hamburger meat. If you ever, if you have a way of making your own, I suggest doing it. You can't get the flavor really from already done. It just, it's just way better to be done fresh. So this is just a, a regular chuck roast I got from Safeway. It's on sale for $3.99 a pound. And all I'm going to do is just get it ready to go into my KitchenAid uh, stand mixer to, to grind up. I'm just cubing it up, and I'm going to take some of that hard, the more hard pieces of fat. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. And just using my meat grinder attachment for the, the KitchenAid stand mixer, I just take this hamburger meat, I just grind it one time. I'm not doing that double grind. Um, all I'm looking for is just grinding it one time. Then once we got all our hamburger meat ground up, I'm just gonna make some balls of meat, three ounces a piece, I'm just going to season them up with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic, and onion. All right, to cook our bacon today, I'm going to be using my air fryer. I know I can cook the bacon really good out there on the Blackstone, um, but if you have never cooked bacon on your, in your, an air fryer before, you can get a really good crisp with this bacon, and it, you don't have to do much. And while I'm doing my hamburgers and doing stuff with that, I can just let this be cooking, not worry about it. So I set it for at 400 degrees, do about 10 minutes. And then ever so often I just give it a check. See it's looking pretty good there. And then you might need to flip it over. Um, just give a look and see what you think. If you need to flip it over, flip it over. But after about 10 minutes, you almost have perfectly cooked bacon. Um, and I'm telling you, it's got a really good crisp to it. All right, now we're gonna make a sauce for this burger. And this is a, a real simple and a, a really good sauce. So I'm just starting off with some honey mustard. Um, you can get whatever your brand you, you like. This is just Ken's Steakhouse brand. And then to that, you wanna add about equal parts of your favorite barbecue sauce. If you have a smokier one, that makes it even better. Um, if you want it sweeter, add more honey mustard, a little bit more barbecue-y, add more barbecue. Just I'm doing about almost equal parts. Just mix them up together. This makes an excellent sauce. All right, let's get our Blackstone ready to go. Um, this is super simple to light these things. Just got to put push button ignition on the end. Um, turn your gas on in the first burner. Push the button. Then once that lights, just go down the, the line. Just uh, lighten until they all light up. And right now I got this, I, I got it going on a pretty high heat to get it I want it screaming hot. Now I am doing these burgers more smash burger style. So I just take those balls of meat that we made. Remember they're three ounces a piece. Put them straight onto the grill. And then I'm gonna be using my ballistic smasher. A little bit of parchment paper under to keep from sticking. You basically wanna press them down. We're doing about 10 seconds here. That gives a, a really good uh, crust on the bottom of the burger. We Change it over, do the next one, same exact way, about 10 seconds. All right, I get questions about when do you turn the burger? When do you flip it over? Well, let's talk about that. So if you look at these, you can tell how the bottom side is starting to get it brown. If we zoom on top of it, you can start seeing juices come from the top. When you start seeing juices creep out the top, we're ready to start flipping. You don't need to worry about, you know, we don't want to cook it very long, but once you start seeing those juices, you just start, just flip it over. And then from here, 
we're not long at all. So after a flip, get a thick piece of cheese and get a, something to cover it up with. I just have a regular dome here. And while that's melting down, I'm going to go ahead and start toasting some buns. I'm not looking for a, a, a dark toast, just a lighter one. Now, the way of doing this cheese, I actually was watching uh, Triple D with Guy Fieri, and he was at a restaurant, I think in California, and they were doing this, um, where they let the cheese melt down and get crispy around the edge. And you know I like that crispy cheese. So what you're looking for, once it melts off and starts bubbling, look at, see how it's browned around the edge? That's when you know it's ready to come up. And basically, once your cheese is melted after you flip a patty, your burger's cooked anyway. So let's just go ahead and get it off. Man, I got so excited to show y'all the that crispy cheese that I got. I forgot that we needed to build this burger. So let me flip this patty over real quick so we can start building it. But I want you to check out that cheese right now. Look how crispy it is around the edge. And look at that sear on that burger. So first we're going to start off by just putting a little bit of lettuce on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and flip our first patty over. And we're going to take some of that. And on top of honey this, mustard barbecue that sauce that we made. Sauce Go ahead and put some of that on. That we made. A little bit on there. Then add some of that nice crispy bacon we got. A little bit of our bacon. Put our other patty on. Our other burger. A little bit more sauce. More sauce. It never hurts to go ahead and top that off with more bacon. More bacon. Then it's kind of big, so I'm going to go ahead and smash it down a little bit. And there we have our barbecue bacon crispy cheeseburger. You've probably seen it in another video. This crispy cheese to me, man, this is gold. Let me give you a taste. Man, that fresh ground beef, that crispy cheese, that crispy bacon from the air fryer. You can't get no better than this. This is one good burger. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know below what you think. And as always, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.